はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいUm, it's some of the stuff <clears throat> that's really inspired me、um, over the, I would say, the last decade. Um, and I'm happy to be back to it, not just in general, but also ever since my math book broke down.、Um, so I want to show you guys what I've been working on recently.、Um, it's not necessarily a redub, but I guess you could call it as like a. a Uh, a second part to the scene, like maybe a concept version、um, that I, I may work on、um, and implement into my work as well.、Um, as you know, I'm streaming on my Surface MacBook, which is、um, incredible because、um, I'm able to see its specs in true force and power,、um, which is pretty darn awesome because it's outdoing my MacBook. By a long distance, and so I'm very happy and satisfied with that. Now, in the background, as you can see,、um, <clears throat> from my perspective, as you guys are looking straight on, would be the project in which I have been working on, guys.、Um, so you can see the leaves there, which are a better and upgraded version to the leaves I had been working on in a previous version. And、um, I'm about to give you guys a little in depth look. Into the rest of the stuff that I've upgraded. So, if you just bear with me,、um, I'll take you on a little tour. So,、um, as you can see here, we have a nice movement. It may not be the best movement, but it's still nice, guys. Um, so, um, just appreciate this with me for just a moment. And I will try and upload again.、Um, here,、uh, what I will show you is I was working on some 3D designs. Of,、um, I guess you could call them like rocks with moss on them,、um, which was not the easiest,、um, but I felt like I did a relatively good job.、Um, <clears throat> it consisted of just a few shaders,、um, which were customarily made up of my own. Um, shaders, which I'm very satisfied with, and as you can see, what I'm scrolling through here now, guys, are my updated version to my bushes.、Um, I wish I really could pull up、uh, my previous version of the bushes if you remember how my bushes looked in the previous version, they were more like clumps and、um, kind of very unattractive, they weren't the worst. And they were animate,、um, but they were not obviously the best.、Um, these things here are actually supposed to be、um, logs.、Um, so they're things that I will be working on as well, guys.、Um, so as you can see, I have not abandoned my,、um, my, uh, my workflow. And over here, you can see that I'm working on like a little cottage as well to implement into the scene. Um, I'm sure you guys are、uh, very familiar and you remember、uh, that when I was working on this prior,、um, I had a lot of lag,、um, but now there's very minimal lag.、Um, so I wouldn't necessarily put it down to my workflow,、um, but there are、um, certain things that I've done to help implement this to make it possible.、Uh, but also, I'll put it mostly to the specs of the,、uh, the Surface Pro itself. So, anyway, guys, I'll give a little animation.、Um, so, as you can see, the water's animating now. And if you look closely, I'm getting ripples、um, you know, radiating away from my bushes. And even、um, some of the stuff that's、um, in the water here, <coughs> which is pretty darn neat, to say the least.、Um, so, yeah, so that's practically what I've been working on thus far. I did actually have a bridge in this scene, and it's something that I'm going to work on again、um, because I wasn't satisfied with the first model.、Um, I think I'm going to have to get a bit more in depth.、Um, so, but、uh, there is something that I'm not fully satisfied with、um, with this scene, and that would be the bushes, as good as they look.、Um, but from certain points, they actually 
look a bit too high resolution um, and that's something that I actually want to work on I don't want it too high res um, the brushes that I actually had before were um, pretty darn fine um, for what I was going for um, even though I am satisfied with these ones but um, I was looking at them earlier and I kind of said to myself I think they may just be slightly too high resolution for me um, but that's not a problem something that I could easily work on downscaling them shouldn't be too hard at all usually the, the troublesome part is trying to upscale um, um, my my goods um, so yeah so that's practically it guys as you can see I'm able to upload um, probably even stream um, my workload which is pretty darn awesome um, that's practically it for now um, as you can see I've got the star in the background um, and this is my cottage I want to implement more work into it um, I just wanted to throw through a few things together AS AP guys um, and that's practically it uh, so very satisfied with this one I hope you guys are enjoying it thus far as well um, give me any hints and tips if there's anything else you'd like me to implement into my scene for those of you that don't know this is based on the scene um, that I had based on a real location in my own area in Huddersfield um, and I have it uploaded on my YouTube and um, I told um, everyone that I was going to damn near replicate that scene um, but obviously adjust it and make it look more um, stylized and implement a little bit more of my own creativity into it just to make it pop out a little bit more and that's actually my intention guys um, the um, the other notion or the other um, uh, well ideal uh, was to try and um, add a lot of motion to my camera as well because I was talking about static cameras sometimes I look at some of my uh, favorite streamers online um, that are into the same things that I'm into which is um, 3d animation and implementing 2d into it as well short films and animation and um, some of the times they do um, I notice that they do strenuous workloads uh, for themselves which I think is not so productive uh, because they will have like a static scene and so they have to draw everything on that scene um, which in a sense I kind of say to myself uh, it's not necessary uh, when you're able to use a 3D software and create something that looks like completely stylized because if you were to look at this um, you would say to yourself I believe someone drew that now obviously there's a little bit of love missing from the scene which is something that I do intend to implement in my own time on my 2D platform which are assets of the scene which will be static and I'll be able to implement more time into those shots to really bring out the stunning uh, feature but until then using the 3D uh, uh, I guess you could say dialogue of the camera um, <coughs> is a very beneficial way if you ask me um, to really satisfy your viewers and to um, captivate them and make your um, message and your world that much more immersive um, and that's what my goal always has been from the start guys another reason why is because it is I personally find quicker for me to use uh, the 3D assets <coughs> to help me generate a procedural world as to drawing a static image which does take a lot longer a time and also um, it can seem quite 90s in 80s uh, kind of boring guys um, to say the least um, it's not like there's anything wrong with it at all um, but it can come across that way um, but with other shots that are implemented that have the animate camera that has awesome um, implementations uh, planted into uh, one scene or one shot can easily make up for those common modern day mistakes um, but I like to keep people alert and wear them on their toes when dealing with um, well um, modern day media 
Um, so this is how I choose to tackle it. Um, I hope you guys are fond of that. Um, tell me how you feel about it and what you think. Um, leave it in the comments uh, down below, guys. Um, I'll try and switch over to you now. And yeah, that'll be about it. Um, the hardest thing working on in this scene would have been the water. I always find the water to be the hardest. Sorry about that. The reason being is because you do have to try and make the water blend. And um, so many people have so many opinions on how they reckon um, water should look and how it should be presented. Um, which can be very challenging. My own uh, way of dealing with that would be ensuring that not only does the water blend into your scene, um, but also has some of the most relevant and realistic data applied to it. Um, and that data being, it must be reflective. Um, it must be flowing. And must not always have too much detail applied to it. Sometimes when you have too much detail applied to it, you can tell that too much work has been applied into it. So as to try and make it that much more attractive for your viewers. Um, and that can sometimes take away from all the other um, essences you've implemented into your scene. Um, so ensuring that everything has a focus point and you somewhat um, focus on your focal point in order to make um, your viewers focus on something rather than forcing them to focus on it whether it's due to experience or not so i had a lot of fun working with the water um if you go out and check some of my other streams you'll see how i've tackled uh water in so many various ways um my next challenge would be to make um stylized fluent water move more realistic and still keep the stylized pure. Anyway, guys, it's your boy Patience. I hope you like what you see. Leave your likes, your thumbs, and your comments down below. And if you have any queries, guys, over and out. Hard work, hard work, your boy. Hard work. Keep it, keep it.